Hello. Well, I thought we'd have a little chat. Just about nothing in particular, really. Just been outside. A beautiful day. Glorious day. It's 9.56am and it's hot already. I could feel myself starting to burn out there. I do tend to burn easily. Uh, the first sort of few times that I go out in the sun, you know, I get a bit brown after that, which is cool. Um, I mentioned in my little walk the other day about Denon, um, which is a CD player that I've bought. That will be, uh, somebody said, have you got it? And I said, no, five to seven days. That's what they said the post to be. So really, really looking forward to that. Um, last night I played this. Some of you may know what that is just by that picture alone. You may do. My favourite ever album it's by the cult and it's called love favorite ever album got to be i love music i love so many so many albums i love it when you get a perfect for me a perfect album that album is beyond perfect um there's other albums there's acdc back in black what an amazing album where every single track is just absolutely amazing um, I think the first four albums by Marillion were amazing. And they're probably amazing because all the lyrics were written and read by, um, sung by Fish. Um, who is or was amazing. His last ever album, he's going to retire, it's called something, it begins with W, I think it's a German word. It's a, it's a bit like with Welsh mouse or something like that. Um, and that's had to be put back and back and back because of this um, this sort of lockdown and all the rest of it. So that's a real shame that his career is sort of on hold. He's waiting to retire, basically. But um, that sounds like a very good album. I've heard four tracks from it so far. Um, there's a lot of albums that I like, and there's a lot of music I like, and there's a lot of musicians I like. But... As I say, when you get every single track off of an album that is just amazing, this, Love, probably tops everything. In my view, anyway, I do, I absolutely love the album. Um, my favourite band of all time, really, is Pink Floyd. But they, they haven't done an album for me that every single track is just perfect. There's always one that's a little bit off you know, it takes a bit of getting used to, um, just doesn't work for whatever reason. But they still remain my favourite ever band. I don't think you can surpass Pink Floyd for me anyway. But I like all sorts. I'm not a music snob in any way. I like I like what I like. And if it's um poppy, classical, if it's um hard rock, whatever it may be I just like it. But yeah, that one is um, absolutely amazing. Um, Love by the Cult. Great album. Wonderful album. Um, this is a special edition. And it's got obviously the, the album on it, but it's been remastered. And what they've done there, really, the remastering, they've just lifted the bass up. The bass on the original album was very good, very driven but slightly in the background and it just needed tweaking. So whoever's done this, I haven't really read it, but whoever's done this just knew what needed to be done and didn't mess around with it at all. Just lifted the bass and it's perfect. So it's a double CD. So you've got that and then you've got all the, um, all the singles and stuff like that on, a, on the other CD, which I haven't played yet. That CD is going to be saved for my Denon den on when i get it might take a little while but i know the post is slow and all the rest of it at the moment um i'm waiting on a couple of things um one of the things i'm waiting on is my fence paint i run out of it and um ordered it quite some time ago and got an email back maybe a fortnight no slightly less about about a week ago um 
saying that they're all working from home. However, the warehouse is open a couple of days a week and they're trying to get orders out as soon as possible, but they're increasing the uh, dispatch time by double. Um, so my date has been put back and that's fine. I mean, it, they'll come when they're, they're here really. Um, but they should be, I'm hoping they're gonna be here in the next few days. The weather is absolutely fantastic. I'd like to be out there doing it. Makes no odds I can do it if and when. Um, but while the weather is wonderful and we're on lockdown, we can't really go anywhere, so why not, you know? Um, so yeah, apart from that, I'm not really doing a lot, to be honest. Um, being out with, hello. <laughs> he always comes to see me when I do a video. You're right. Um, been out with him this morning. God, that was hot. Really, really hot. So he wasn't too long, but he didn't have enough play because when we came back, he wanted to play in the garden and I was just too tired, really. But I have had a, just a gentle kick around. <laughs> he follows my hand. We're on a stroke and he just follows my hand all off his body sometimes. What are you doing, Bode? What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, yeah, apart from that, we haven't done a lot, really. I mean, the lockdown is a funny old time for a lot of people. I know that um, I've heard from a couple of people now, it's starting to sort of get to them a little bit. Um, one person, I don't know very well, but one person said, um, I'm starting to feel quite anxious and, and stuff like that, which I totally get. And I, I've recommended various different things, really, but it's just what you would do anyway, you know, and, and that's to meditate to go and have a nap, do some sort of conscious breathing, um, read a book, spend time outside, definitely, in the garden. You must go out, when it's like this, you must go out for a walk or a cycle ride or walk your dog or do whatever you do, you must do that. Vitamin C, uh, vitamin D, I always call it vitamin um, C. Vitamin D is wonderful for the immune system. We need to top that up and especially now with whatever is happening, we need to top that up. Vitamin D, get outside under Mr. Solar Face. And it's very, very good for reducing stress and all the rest of it, as I keep on saying. So do that. But what advice do you give you know, to somebody if they're a bit sort of stressed and a bit um, anxious and what have you? Because they can't do what they would normally be doing in life. And that is some of the problem. Um, as much as somebody doesn't like their job, for instance, they're not at work. That familiarity has been taken away. They're, um, they're indoors and they're indoors for a lot, a lot of hours. And a lot of people don't like that, <clears throat> don't like that. They don't want that. And um, it is the want because it's the freedom, isn't it? It's the liberty that's been taken away from people. And what happens, therefore, is you lose control. You've lost control of your life. Somebody else is controlling your life. Stay indoors. Only go out for shopping if necessary. Uh, cost bloody shopping is necessary. You know, go out and exercise for a short period, whatever that may be. Um, work from home if at all possible. So somebody else is controlling your life. So when you feel a bit anxious, when you feel a bit stressed and all the rest of it, there's not a lot that you can do about it. All you can do is ride it out. I have said before is to make the most of this time because this time you may never get in the rest of your life. And I think that's important to remember. This time could be a holiday for you. It could be a much needed break, a much needed time off of everything there has been times in your life I'm sure when you said oh, I'd like the weekend to last forever the weekend ain't long enough I'd like the weekend to be five days and just work two days that's come to you now you've got all that now and it's to make the most of it, it you know it's very difficult to make the most of it if you can't I don't know, take the kids down the beach or whatever but to have true relaxation, to be away totally from work, to be away from your work colleagues, to not have to set an alarm, to not worry about things, that is a freedom 
that's kind of given you. I know we saying about freedom being taken away, but that's kind of a freedom that's been given to you. So if you can, just make the best of this time. I know, um, well, a certain friend of mine, I won't mention him, bless him, but he's had a, such a tidy up, lives in a flat, he's had such a tidy up again and again and again that his flat is absolutely immaculate absolutely not a speck of dust you know and he's done all the things he's been meaning to do in the last sort of three weeks he's been doing he's been there for a few years but um every last thing from washing neck curtains to um taking weeds out of his driveway um he's washed and polished his car the flat as i say is absolutely mint from cleaning every speck of the washing machine, taking all the stuff out of the fridge, all the stuff out of the freezer. Um, the oven is just shining inside and out and all the rest of it. And he said he's fallen in love with the flat again. How funny is that? You know, in just three weeks time, the flat, he said, become a place where he used to come home from work, kick his boots off and fall asleep. And um, it was just there, just somewhere. But now he said he loves it. He's moved things around as well. That's a good thing that you can do. If you can move furniture around, that's wonderful. But if not, a few paintings or an ornament or um, just have a, a, a shift around. Also, to go through kitchen drawers and cupboards and things like that, and also at any other ones in your lounge, go through your clothes, um, not your lounge, your bedroom, go through your clothing, throw away things. You know, if you throw away, I don't know, whatever, socks or pants or t-shirts and order more on eBay, have some new things to wear. That kind of lifts the spirits as well. Go through your lounge cupboards. Go through any cupboards that you know are perhaps got a lot of paperwork in. Now is the time. Now is the time. Get things in order. File things if you need to. So there is things that you can do and there's things you can do to make life a little bit easier and a little bit better. And some things take quite a while to do. I mean, if you're going to sort all of your paperwork out, it might take two or three or four days. Might do. And uh, see what you're going to keep. How are you going to keep it? Why are you keeping it? And just give that a go. Just go through everything, really. I mentioned about Alison as well, A-L-I-S-O-N. Alison is a great resource, really, like a learning resource. And there's also the Open University and there's various other um, things online, like learning things and all the rest of it. I think to learn things, particularly now, this quiet time, nobody's coming round, nobody's knocking on your door. To learn things is a great thing within the head. It takes up time, definitely. But it gets the old grey matter going because what's happening now is that people are not perhaps using their grey matter. They're not at work. They haven't got to think through difficulties and problems, scenarios, and um, they don't have to attend meetings and all the rest of it. So they may get up and slob around in their, I don't know, dressing gown, have a bit of breakfast maybe, put YouTube on or Facebook or some music or whatever and before they know it it's kind of mid-afternoon and they've had a little nap you know and then watch a bit of telly perhaps if that's their thing cook a meal and then they go and have a shower and it's eight o'clock nine o'clock and they're quite tired really because doing nothing is quite tiring as we all know so you could have a routine as well, couldn't you really? If you're going to do a learning thing through Alison or the Open University or whatever, you say to yourself, okay, every day between 10 and, and 2, that's what I do. That is my day for now. Until such times as life returns to whatever normal it will become. And as I say, it's good to get your mind working, get your brain working and what have you, because you can be physically tired but not mentally tired. So therefore you end up with insomnia 
or you end up with you know difficulties in sleeping in some way and the worst thing to do is probably to think well I'll just have a little couple of glasses of vodka or a couple of glasses of wine before I go to bed and then you get into a routine of doing that every night and those two glasses become four and that can cause its own problems as we know so it's, it's up to you what you do with this time really but this time is quite a valuable time and as I say we're never going to get this again I don't think not in our lifetime never going to get a holiday that goes on and on and on it is a holiday of entrapment it is a holiday of not really being able to go where you want when you want with who you want see who you want invite people around but it, we've got so much to look forward to so much to look forward to you imagine whatever your thing is doing that in a number of weeks or perhaps months time you know if your thing is a a dinner party think who you're going to invite round what you're going to be cooking you'll probably have an amazing first dinner party i would imagine or if your thing is climbing or abseiling or canoeing or some sport that will be amazing absolutely amazing and think where you might go would it be wales or scotland or do you know somewhere local who would you go with would you camp out would you stay in a hotel is it just a day thing plan ahead and think ahead and phone those people phone those people and say look i've got an idea i'd like to do this when this lockdown's over make arrangements an open arrangement because we don't know the date but make that arrangement phone those people have a chat or is it just a barbecue on the beach with, with just one or two select people think about that think what that's going to be like and it's good by doing all that it's good to move move your mind on because that's telling yourself that you're not going to be how you are now forevermore there will be whatever that dinner party or canoeing or sitting on the beach or whatever there will be that oh hello hello you wanted a cuddle i love you i love you mate i love you <laughs> you're my funny boy yeah it can get to people definitely i feel quite tired mostly um i mean it's fairly normal for me but i mean i feel ultra tired look when you stop scratching at me i'm fully aware you're there no 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 i'm fully aware you're there I suppose we're lucky in this country you know we can go out for exercise or with our dogs or or doing certain things you know we're lucky in that respect but do get out you know um even if it's sitting in the garden get outside close your eyes take a few breaths we're quite blessed really when we think about it so whatever you're doing enjoy your day the best you can and um, we'll be back some other time, really. Perhaps with a slightly better video. This was just a video, just to sort of say hello, really. Um, some and nothing, but um, I think it's worth watching YouTube videos at the moment, really. People have got very little to do. And um, one thing I am doing, actually, to be honest, I'm watching more and more YouTube videos. Um, if the channel is quite coronavirus-y, then I don't bother watching it. Uh, yesterday was great. I didn't see the news at all. I don't know all the latest facts and figures or what we're told. Um, I didn't watch any of the government spiel and all the rest of it. Uh, I limited myself on Facebook, 
so I don't know really what's going on. I don't know the latest. I don't know what the um, um, the press have asked the government because I've seen a few of those. You know, the government come out, they they go, rah, 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 and then the press ask the same questions, and then it ends. And that's every single night. So I don't know what the latest is. I'm not interested in knowing what the latest is at all. Because ultimately, what do we want? What we want is this to be over. And when it's over, I will know about it. So I don't need to watch all that rubbish. So I had a really good day yesterday of just avoiding all of that crap. And I went onto YouTube and there's certain channels that I watch. Um, and you can just tell by the title it's not for me at this uh, moment in time it's really not for me not interested in hearing about all this stuff we've heard too much about it and it's boring and um our opinion of it is simply that it's not facts i don't believe we're told facts either anyway whatever we don't want to get into all that do we but all we want is this lockdown to be lifted. And I think it will be eventually in some way. I don't know how they will do it, but uh, maybe that's been discussed. Who knows? I don't know because I won't watch it. But um, try and enjoy your day the best you can. Make some plans, some open-ended plans for when this is all over. Have something to look forward to. There's a big wide world out there, isn't there, for all of us. And it's waiting for us now. And we're eager, should be eager to get in, get out and about, do whatever we do. But in the meantime, you know, have a good old tidy up. Make, you know, fall in love with your house again or your flat again or, or wherever you live. Fall in love with that again. Sort through those clothes. Maybe sort through the books and DVDs and so much that you could do, really. Just a whittle away an hour or two. But whatever you're doing, take care. Look after yourself. Stay well. And be well. Ta-da.